AFTV, um, did you did you see signs of improvement in what Arteta's trying to do today? Yeah, um, in the first in the first half, more more energy, um, people um, the ball moving quicker, um, closing down was a lot um, uh, a lot sharper, a lot better, a lot precise. So yeah, there was improve there was improvements from there. But um, but I used cover the but but second half it just wore off. Um, is that tiredness? Yeah, it's a bit of. I mean, you can't say it's tiredness because we've played the same amount of games as every other team. We've had a preseason like every other team. Why are they tired? Why are they tired? Um, I felt like um, what? In fact, in fact, one thing I got to criticize Arteta for is. Um, we was calling out for an out ball because clearly when Jorginho came in that midfield, Chelsea owned that midfield Nelson is tired take him off bring on Pepe, Pepe has only what, played what, 10 minutes in the last two games why didn't he bring on Pepe, why didn't he bring on Willock I didn't, I, I didn't quite understand that and also, I thought he brought the changes he, too he, late yeah he brought the changes too late and wrong, the wrong personnel, we needed an out ball do you understand, we needed an out ball, we needed someone who was going to push they attack back. And I thought you should have brought on Pepe to, you know, to, to be that guy. Do you understand? And I, I, I think Arteta lost, lost it there. I'm not going to be onto him too much because obviously he's new and it's going to take him, a, it's probably going to take him his three years to implement what he wants to play. Like his whole contract, his whole three years contract, that's probably how long it's going to take him to change this team. Mm. Mustafi. Mustafi. You're talk, I heard you earlier talking about Jorginho shouldn't be on the pitch. Mustafi shouldn't be on the pitch. He shouldn't be here. Yeah, but he's, listen, as somebody else pointed out, though, I know you're going to point out and say that he backed off a bit, and you've got to put that, put that into account as well, that he's, he's hardly played, so he's going to be a bit rusty. He also showed a lot of bravery, like I think it was Kalecci said. You know what I mean? The guy had like a head, bad head injury. He was down for ages. And after that, straight away, won a big header, won a couple of headers. So You know what? Yeah, after that concussion... I'm pretty sure he didn't know who he was. I'm pretty sure they told him when he when he came up when he when he came back to consciousness. They asked him, "Do you know who you are?" He said, "No." They said, "You're Maldini." That's what they told him. And as the game wore on, as the game as the game went on, that Maldini wore off and Scott and Mustafi appeared. Do you, do you understand? So. But, but I, I you're don't, wicked, you are. You know, you're a wicked guy. No, no, right? Robbie, <laughs> the, the back, the backing up, the, the backing up. Are you a fucking hard drive? Always backing up. Always backing up. Always backing up. It's basic. I know you. I know he doesn't get game time, but he trains. You play. In, you train with these players. You train every week. What are you doing in training? Uh, he's, he's, he's done that against Norwich. Norwich scored two. What is it? Get the, remember the game against City. City were doing smart fouls. Whenever we was on the counter on an attack, they'll drag us back, get a yellow. Do that. He gave he gave Abraham maximum respect. The respect that you give to players like Messi. Like the top top, I'm not saying Abraham's not a top player, but the respect he gave him was a respect that you would expect from a lower from a lower team defender. Knock him up. Take him out. Take a yellow. That, that was there for a yellow. We've got 10 minutes left. Take him out. He shouldn't be here. That's what I, I gotta get back at the board because if Chambers comes off injured, we should have someone. Like when was well, you, you're seeing at the moment that, that there's a lack of depth. I mean, it's all youngsters on the bench. We're relying on a lot of youngsters as well, even on the pitch. It's just how it is at the moment. It's going to be a rebuilding exercise, isn't it? Ja January this January, yeah. I know we're not really also don't really buy big in January, but I think more so we need to buy the players now than more so in the summer. Because if you want um, Arteta to implement his way of playing, these players have to be in already. Mm. This season, this season's a write-off. Mm. Yeah, we, we should forfeit this season. This is, the season's done. Yeah, we, <laughs> Europa probably is our only our only hope. Do you understand? We need to just concentrate on the Europa League because the season's done. All right, let me decide. You finally, can we beat United? No. We're not going to beat United. You so? We're not going to beat... Anyone who thinks we're going to beat United, even even how good we played in the first half, anyone who thinks we're going to beat United is deluded. If you see the way United if are playing... Beat, if you beat United, you come back on here and say sorry. I, I, I'll come back here and say sorry. But I'm going to come... I, I know I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come here and tell you, I told you so. You come back here and you've got to give me a £10. 
if, if, if we beat United. You're going to give me £10, you're going to give the cameraman £10 if we beat United. I, I, do you know what? You don't need to start putting my name to, to get £10. You don't need to start putting on my name to get I'll £10. Put name. If, if we lose, I'll put your name, right? If we win, you're going to give me £10, you're going to give the cameraman £10 for a drink. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm a, I'm a poor Arsenal fan. I ain't got no money. I'm a poor Arsenal fan. <laughs>